Hello and welcome to Home Runs Quick Tip Videos. In this video, we're going to show how you can disconnect a remote safety I.O. without causing an error in the safety CPU. In this example, we have the safety unit in node 1 and some safety I.O. In node 2, we do have a safety I.O. card. We want to be able to disable this node so that we can rewire it, add some I.O., whatever, do maintenance, without causing the safety CPU going into an error. So, step one. What we want to do is be able to go here and disconnect the slave. How do we do that without causing an error? We go to the safety program. The first thing we notice is that each I.O. card, each safety I.O. card, has a safety connection status bit. There's one here, one here. We give them names, and we add a piece of program. These are all my status bits for the, uh, the nodes in, sorry, the safety I.O. in node 1. And when they're all on, I enable this group because this group is most likely used for safety on the main station. On the remote node, I have this card. It's an output card. I probably need an input card. In this particular case, it's probably coming from node one. That's fine. I put these two together and I and I create an enable bit right here. So what happens is in rack one, I'm considering that my Main station, main station enables this function block. Here's the trick. In rack 2, and this is the rack that I want to be able to disable, the node, this bit will turn off. If this card is disabled, this bit will turn off. When this bit turns off, it deactivates this function block. When I deactivate this function block, it can no longer check to see if its I.O. exists. And in this case, Relay 1 is the one that's going to stop existing when Node 2 is disabled. Therefore, it does not cause an error. And it's actually that simple. Hope that helps. One more.